Loblaws runs this damn country. A single company is becoming so incredibly powerful in the lives of Canadians that they can essentially dictate huge portions of the cost of living. And our government is really doing nothing about it. In fact, they're giving them more power. I want to take a few minutes to look at this on a couple of different levels. First off, the federal level, and then we're going to look at what's happening in the provinces. In both cases, it is an alarming combination of ineptitude and corruption. First up, at the federal level. Remember earlier this year when Parliament very theatrically paraded Galen Weston and a bunch of other grocery store executives in front of a meeting? Jagmeet Singh had a giant stack of papers that he waved around and then never looked at. It was a whole thing. Well, absolutely nothing came of that, except promises to do better and then not doing better. Groceries at Loblaws stores are still crazy overpriced. In September, CTV compared the prices between Dollarama and Loblaws on a number of grocery items. A package of pasta was a dollar at Dollarama and four forty nine at Loblaws. Box of rice, dollar seventy five at Dollarama, four forty nine at Loblaws. Loaf of Wonder Bread, two fifty at Dollarama, three ninety nine at Loblaws. Box of cereal, three fifty at Dollarama, five forty nine at Loblaws. It's a rip off all around because it's what they do. It's their whole thing. But don't worry, government is promising to bring forward a grocery code of conduct eventually. Although, Loblaws claims that somehow being forced to lower prices will raise prices. Nobody really understands how that's supposed to happen, but they insist that it will. Funny how the people in charge of prices keep insisting prices will go up. What a coincidence. And Loblaws' track record isn't exactly trustworthy here. Remember the bread price fixing scandal? They were found to have artificially increased the prices of bread and had to pay out quite a settlement. But don't worry, we gave them a bunch of free money for freezers right after. Not corrupt at all. And it's coming from all sides. The Liberals aren't doing anything about it, but neither are the Conservatives. For the Liberals, it's because they serve corporate interests. For the Conservatives, it's because one of Pierre Poilievre's top advisors, Jenny Byrne, is also a registered lobbyist for Loblaws. Or at least her firm is. She insists that she isn't, but her firm, Jenny Byrne & Associates, is. And we all definitely believe that. And the government really asked very firmly for Loblaws to bring down prices, and they didn't. So now the government is threatening that if Loblaws doesn't bring down the prices, they might actually do something. But they won't. Because again, they serve corporate interests. As long as line go up, they don't care. They'll just send out rebate checks or something like that so you can spend more money at Loblaws. Because that's where all the money goes, don't you know? And at the provincial level, there are similar issues. Huge contracts are going to Shoppers Drug Mart from multiple provinces, including Ontario and Alberta. And in both cases, the governments are opening up pharmacists to provide a wide range of services and offering them public funds to do so. In reality, it's just serving to funnel a large amount of public funds into Galen Weston's pocket, along with Loblaws shareholders. As you see your grocery bill skyrocket, have a look at what's happened to Loblaws stock in the last couple of years. Over the last five years, their stock's up 104.2%, and they pay 900% more in dividends than they did in the early 2000s. They're taking your money and they're giving it directly to shareholders. And they're insisting that they're powerless to do anything to bring down grocery prices. So what's the answer? Well, the government's suggesting that bringing in more private international grocers to compete might be a solution, but it's not. It's just going to bring the same problem. More competition won't bring prices down because in a lot of cases, grocery stores have inflated the prices everywhere along the supply chain. Because in a lot of cases, grocers have inflated the prices everywhere along the supply chain. In many cases, those companies control different parts of the supply chain and are able to raise prices all along the way so it doesn't appear to be happening all at the storefront. There's also only one real long-term solution to this, and it's a national grocer. A nationally run, low-cost, basic goods grocer. It would be able to offer simple goods at cost and make it a lot easier for Canadians to access the basic necessities of life. Because I think it's important to remember that as long as we live in a society that creates a shortage of necessities of life in order to raise profits, we have a serious problem. We can deal with this. We have the capacity. We just need the will.